What role will XRP play in Ripple's newly acquired in-principle license from the Monetary Authority of Singapore? Also, unveiling a complex web of money laundering as millions of stolen XRP tokens make audacious escapes. Is Max Keeser, a Bitcoin maximalist, justified in accusing XRP of being excessively centralized? Furthermore, Ford's issues a warning about a $15 trillion earthquake looming over the crypto market, fueled by BlackRock's interest in a Bitcoin ETF. But how will this reshape the demand for XRP? Keep watching this video to find out more, so that you don't miss out on an excellent opportunity to win a giveaway of 300 XRP tokens at the end of this month. Hey guys, welcome back to Whiteboard Crypto Update, the best spot for your daily dose of everything XRP and cryptocurrency. In today's video, we will talk about XRP's future. So be sure to stay focused as you surely don't want to miss out on this. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. Please remember this is not a financial advice video. John E. Deaton, a lawyer supportive of XRP, has commented on Ripple's recent acquisition of an in-principle approval from the Monetary Authority of Singapore. In a tweet a few days ago, attorney Deaton deemed the news fairly significant, considering that fewer than 20 companies have obtained such a license in the country. Notably, attorney Deaton claimed that despite the intended use of XRP, the coin's price did not respond to the news. Additionally, he stated that all XRP holders are connected through a common enterprise with Ripple, and one would expect the XRP price to react based on the company's efforts to generate profits. However, according to Deaton, XRP continued to follow Bitcoin's trajectory and the macro environment. In his tweet, Deaton addressed inquiries about whether the in-principle license would allow XRP to be utilized in ODL transactions. Previously, Australian-based lawyer Bill Morgan asked Ripple's president Monica Long if the license relates to ODL transactions that include XRP. Morgan claimed that not all ODL transactions involved XRP, but Deaton confirmed that the license would permit the use of XRP. It is important to recall that Ripple made headlines recently for receiving in-principle approval for a major payments institution license from the Monetary Authority of Singapore. This achievement placed Ripple in an exclusive group of fewer than 20 firms that have received such a license. The in-principle license will empower Ripple's subsidiary, Ripple Markets Asia Pacific, to expand the on-demand liquidity solution in Singapore. It's worth noting that ODL utilizes X at RP for cross-border settlements. With ODL being a part of the deal, many expected the price of XRP to surge immediately following Ripple's in-principle license announcement. However, the coin did not experience any significant upward movement. While one might assume that the announcement was responsible for the price surge, a closer examination reveals that most cryptocurrencies also recorded slight gains during that time. Currently, XRP is trading at around $0.49. This development has left many wondering how the SEC concluded that XRP investors are in a common enterprise with Ripple. It is important to mention that the SEC made this claim in its case against Ripple, which has been ongoing for over two years. The exact date for Judge Torres to issue a summary judgment decision has not been specified. Ripple expresses confidence that the case will be resolved before the year's end. According to recent reports from Surplorer and XRP Forensics, millions of stolen XRP tokens, allegedly taken by North Korean hackers in the Atomic Wallet hack, are currently moving between centralized and decentralized crypto platforms. New details have emerged regarding the ongoing displacement of these stolen tokens, revealing a meticulously planned scheme executed by the unknown perpetrators to avoid detection and launder the illicit funds. Crypto scouts closely monitoring their movements have provided exclusive insights into this unfolding saga. The stolen tokens have undergone a complex process of consolidation and laundering. 
The culprits implemented a series of strategic steps involving various blockchain platforms and rapid conversions. The initial phase of their plan involved consolidating the stolen funds into a central account called the Amalgamation Account. Subsequently, the funds were transferred to the Orbit Bridge, facilitating a seamless transition to the Clade blockchain. At this stage, the stolen XRP tokens were exchanged for KLAA before being further converted to Ethereum and finding their way to the Avalanche platform. To complicate the tracing process further, the stolen funds were subsequently exchanged for BTC and ultimately moved to the Bitcoin network. Approximately 14 million XRP tokens have already been processed through the bridge, with only around 4 million tokens remaining. Experts predict that the culprits are likely to conclude their activities on the XRPL by the end of the day. Max Kieser, a prominent Bitcoin advocate and BTC advisor, to the president of El Salvador, Nayib Buko, has responded to a tweet by pro Ripple lawyer John Deaton about Bitcoin and the SEC, offering his thoughts on XRP as well. This time, however, Keezer refrained from calling XRP a scam or using similar words to describe it. Instead, he stated, XRP is too centralized. John Deaton, the founder of Crypto Law, criticized Bitcoin maximalists in a recent tweet, highlighting their inconsistency. Deaton pointed out that while these individuals claim to be libertarians, they support the SEC's attacks against crypto companies and any decisions by the regulator that harm the crypto space, except for Bitcoin. He noted this as a contradiction, saying, so many Bitcoin maxis can see themselves libertarians and then applaud or celebrate the massive and gross overreach by the SEC. Keezer responded by stating that Bitcoin is the only cryptocurrency that is out of reach of regulators. He believes that XRP is facing a long-term attack from the SEC because it is too centralized to survive in the conflicted environment where the SEC operates. About a month ago, Keezer tweeted that XRP is a security, sparking heated discussions within the XRP community. An XRP enthusiast with over 112,000 subscribers recently tweeted that the XRP community is eagerly anticipating three significant events related to the sixth largest cryptocurrency. The first event is the resolution of the Ripple case in court with the expectation that the SEC will lose. During the World Economic Forum in January, Ripple's CEO, Brad Garlinghouse, stated in an interview that he expected the judge's verdict to be announced in the first half of 2023. Additionally, the recent release of the Hinman emails by the SEC, under pressure from the court, has raised hopes in the XRP community that these documents will expedite the resolution process. The community hopes that XRP will be classified as a non-security. The second anticipated event is XRP reaching new all-time highs, driven by a positive court decision. Finally, the third event is the removal of Gary Gensler, the chair of the SEC, from his position. Some U.S. lawmakers have filed a bill seeking to remove Gensler from the chairmanship of the SEC, citing the large number of legal actions against crypto companies initiated by the regulator under his command. Now let's address the big question of the day. Will the $15 trillion earthquake approaching the crypto market reshape XXRP demand? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to be the first to receive updates on the latest happenings regarding XRP. Forbes magazine recently issued a warning, alerting the public to an unprecedented seismic shift headed for the crypto market with XRP at its epicenter. The article titled, A New Wave, Major Bank Reveals a $15 Trillion Earthquake, sheds light on an enormous event that could send shockwaves through XRP, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Cardano. The storm began brewing when BlackRock, the world's largest asset. Well, guys, that's all we have for you today. What are your thoughts on XRP? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. If you guys like this video, then be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, if you don't want to miss out on any new future videos, then be sure to click on the subscribe button 
and turn on the notification under this video so that you're notified the next time we upload a video on the latest XRP and cryptocurrency news. Until the next video comes out, you can watch our other videos about XRP or other cryptocurrencies. Thank you for watching, and we will see you again in the next video. Goodbye.